Hi, dear students. Uh, we are together at the uh, chapter summary of our first chapter uh, titled Introduction to International Trade. Uh, I will try to give uh, a brief uh, to our first chapter, so it will be uh, our chapter summary. In the first chapter of our book, uh, we are dealing with the basics of international trade. So uh, in this respect, this chapter might be considered as an introductory to the topics of international trade. Uh, you see our chapter outline. Uh, at the first title uh, will be the scope of international economics, which we are uh, introducing the, uh, the scope of international economics, the coverage of international economics. The second title is the key terms and concepts of international trade. The ch third chapter uh, will deal the world trade outlook at a glance. We will give you a short outlook to the world trade. And at the last chapter, at the last title, I'm sorry, effects of technological improvements on the international trade uh, will be given. Uh, regarding the first title uh, named scope of international economics, uh, you see that uh, international economics is divided into two parts. The first part is the real side of international economics, and the second part is the monet monetary side of international economics. At the real side, uh, we are dealing with the uh, international trade. And in the international trade analysis, uh, we do not take into consider the money. Or in other words, uh, in other words, we are not taking into consider the exchange rate and its effects. So we skip the money and we analyze the international trade in real terms. So, for example, if uh, we want to express the uh, price of a commodity, if we want to express the uh, price of a commodity, then we uh, express it uh, in terms of uh, the price of the other commodities. So that's why we uh, analyze, uh, basically we analyze international trade in real terms. On the monetary side of international economics, we add the money or the exchange rate in our analysis. So uh, we uh, take into consider money and its effects on international trade. Uh, we explain the balance of payments, uh, meaning that we explain uh, the foreign exchange transactions of the uh, countries, of the economies on the monetary side. So uh, basically, uh, the scope of economics uh, is composed of two economic uh, and uh, two important economic parts. Uh, at the second title, uh, key terms and concepts of international economics uh, are given. So in this respect, uh, we analyze or we define the volume of trade. Uh, we give the meaning of terms of trade. We understand uh, the pattern of trade and we analyze the trade restrictions. Uh, we uh, explain the meaning of foreign exchange rate and the balance of payments. So, uh, of course, we have uh, lots of other key terms uh, related with international trade. But in order to be brief, uh, we have taken the most referred ones. Uh, okay. And at the uh, third title, we look to the uh, world trade uh, at a glance and uh, very basically i can tell you that world trade has experienced negative effects of the global financial crisis of 2008 and 2009 which hit almost all the open economies as we all know uh, in 2008 and 2009 uh, the world economy witnessed 
uh, and, uh, an economic crisis uh, which was uh, uh, which was mainly from the uh, mortgage crisis in the US. Uh, but this crisis, uh, due to the uh, global economic links and relations, this uh, crisis, uh, which was uh, which was the US crisis, actually, US economy uh, crisis uh, due to the mortgage uh, uh, developments uh, or mortgage effects, uh, the the countries, the most of the open economies on the world uh, witnessed its negative effects. But uh, when we look at the uh, data uh, in the past um, 10 years, we see that in the last years, uh, the world trade has started to recover. So that is a positive sign for uh, the world economy and for the world trade. And at the last title, we give the effects of technological improvements on international trade. Uh, we, uh, we all know that uh, today the world economy is going through a digital economy. So what is the digital economy then? Uh, digital economy is a term that incorporates all the economic processes, transactions and activities on digital technologies. So it is more than the Internet economy. It covers the Internet economy, but it's more than uh, it. it. Its scope is, uh, is broader than the Internet economy. So at this uh, last title in our first chapter, we are dealing with this reality. Uh, so we give the uh, basic terms uh, and the main instruments of the digital economy. Uh, so you see on our slide that uh, there are four main instruments of the digital economy today. Uh, the first one, Internet of Things, the second, artificial intelligence, the third, 3rd printing, and the last instrument is the blockchain. So we give definitions uh, about these main instruments and uh, we are discussing their effects on international trade. So, uh, and uh, as a last uh, subtitle, uh, we give the interplay between technological improvements and international trade, as I've told you before. So uh, we give uh, three main interplay or three main effects of the technological improvements on international trade. The first one, which is quite important, uh, is the cost reductions. The second one, uh, relating with the international trade is the changes in the pattern of trade. Then comes the changes on the basis of comparative advantage. So uh, these three effects uh, are really important uh, regarding the um, technological impacts on international trade. Uh, so Uh, as a um, conclusion, uh, I would like to remind you that uh, relating with the uh, content of this chapter, again, you, you can find uh, other materials on the system like tests and uh, summaries and you have uh, the course book. So you have lots of materials which you can consult while you are studying.